Hi, welcome to the Fondus Open Remote Repository, designed for Fondus University of Applied Science. In this video we will demonstrate the structure and possibilities of working within the Open Remote domain. Open Remote is a professional open source project, ambitious to overcome the challenges of integrating many different communication protocols and data sources into a single easy-to-use data management solution. Open Remote is 100% open source. This means all the source code is available on GitHub. Here you will find the main repository and the custom project. This custom project is a layer on top of the main repository. This allows for easy customization options while protecting the main repository. For your convenience, we have forked these repositories to our own sandbox organization, Faunus Open Remote. In this repository, you are invited to let your creativity run wild and experiment with Open Remote. On the homepage, you will find a detailed guide that might help you get started and understand the structure of the project. This guide takes you on a programming journey for a fictional company called Treorg, which wants to manage their urban forestry maintenance. Feel free to use this alongside the detailed wiki which is available on the Open Remote repository. Here you will also find the extensive developer's guide, which will help you get started even further. Let's take a look at the Tree Org project. We start the application and see our assets displayed on the map. These assets represent trees and are configurable on the assets page. In this case, Tree Org wants to optimize the roots between their trees based on the water level they currently have. Open Remote offers a build-in way to apply rules to these assets. On the Rules page, you can add conditional actions to all your assets. On the Insights page, we are able to configure dashboards for users. In the Tree Org Guide, we built an optimization service for the assets based on one of their attributes, in this case the water level of their trees. We modified the pre-build table widget to use this new service. We add the widget to the dashboard. Select our assets and the attributes we want to monitor, in our case, root ID and water level. We save our widget and select the view mode. Now we can use our root service by clicking the optimize root button. We sort the column on the root ID to show the top 10 and send them to Google Maps in that order. The maintenance department now has a route to visit their assets in the correct order while making efficient use of navigation. We hope this video aids you in understanding the project, and wish you good luck with adding your creativity to the open remote realms.